Dear sisters and brothers in Christ, many of us feel powerless in the face of this coronavirus pandemic. We see in a devastating way how widely a virus spreads person to person and the immense damage it is doing to our community. We are indeed living in a time of great crisis locally and globally. So it is only human that we will experience considerable fear and anxiety. However, as people of faith in Jesus of Nazareth, we are called to place our trust in our God, who promises to be present with us even in these times of great suffering and uncertainty. Even in his seeming absence, we still place our hope in the one who loves us tenderly and with great mercy. And so, as responsible citizens and faithful Catholics, in solidarity with our wonderful doctors and health professionals, our first rule must be do no harm. That means not doing anything that might spread the virus to others with whom we live in community. We need to listen to our medical experts and not to conspiracy theorists who use any crisis to profiteer or stir up hatred and division. We must also comply with the directives of our government authorities for the sake of the common good. The Gospel calls us to practice such solidarity in these difficult days. Today is the solemnity of the Annunciation, which celebrates the Incarnation through Mary's Yes. We are called to follow her in living out the implications of our Yes to God. This faith in action means we serve God in the least of our brothers and sisters. Let's especially not forget the suffering in our midst, the elderly, the weak, the disabled, the homeless, the unemployed, etc. Let us not forget vulnerable groups and communities, the indigenous, the asylum seekers in detention, prisoners, etc. Then there are also those whom the Catholic Church through the traditional Lenten Project Compassion supports. In previous ages, before germs and viruses were understood, people blamed strangers, Jews and outsiders for sickness. Anyone who was different could be the target of people's fear. And so let us in these days be especially mindful of caring with compassion and charity for any person in our community who are on the margins, be they the aged, the chronically ill, and all those living in poverty and isolation, let our love for them be real and concrete. May we also use these days to deepen our prayer and spiritual lives. Even as we mourn our losses, Pope Francis encourages us. Let us call upon him today, he says, firmly rooted in prayer, for without prayer, all our activity risks being fruitless and our message empty. So please visit our diocesan website at paracatholic.org slash COVID-19 slash for some good and helpful information about how we can follow this path of deeper prayer. It includes online liturgy resources for personal and family prayer and various options for viewing Mass online and meditating on the daily scripture readings. The coronavirus crisis strikes fear and anxiety into people across the globe. It also reveals deep cultural prejudices and divisions against the elderly, the weak, and even those of certain race and ethnicity. Our faith makes us step beyond these human boundaries. It expands our horizons and pushes the limits of our capacity to love. Through the example of Jesus, we are called to embrace those vulnerable in our society and reach out to them. It is not the time to look after ourselves only, but to care for others through our prayers, acts of kindness, and deep communion with them. The temporary closure of churches is the opportunity for us to be the temple 
of God individually and collectively. We are church when we shine forth the presence and love of God through our attitudes and actions. We are church when we together provide an oasis of hope and a healing presence for the vulnerable and the needy. May every family in the diocese become a domestic church, a home of prayer and love. May Jesus Christ lead us as we walk together the journey from sickness to wholeness and from death to new life. May as St. Paul says, nothing in creation ever be able to separate us from the love of God that is revealed in Christ Jesus our Lord.